Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a new pack, new tool set I'm releasing called Lyra, Lyra Audio Tools Workflow Pack. This is running on Stable Diffusion Audio 1.0 for Comfort UI. So before we get into it, obviously we had a little demo which was uh, showing the e-side. All right. And so I'm going to explain what that actually is. This is obviously a sort of like background track. It'll make music as well, but I'm looking at it more for making samples, sound effects, and uh, sort of uh, that kind of stuff. But you can make m music with it. As it says here, 128 BPM tech house drum loop is an example of a prompt that will work. Okay. Um, so, you know, you can use BPM and genre and basic words like that. So it, it's possible to use it that way as well. Um, we'll go through what I used in a minute, but first of all, it is Stable Audio Open 1.0. Okay. So if we take a look at here, what we're going to need to do is grab the model.save tensors. And we're also going to need to go to Google T5 and take the T5 base, which is another model.save te tensors. So what we do is we go into clip. And we rename it T5 underscore base dot save tensors. So that's this model. And then for the other model, we're just going to call it what it is. So I put it into stable audio, stable audio open 1.0 save tensors. The instructions are in the article on the release page. So you'll be able to get them there. If you just scroll down, show more, you can see here, I usually put all that stuff. Tells you where to put the model and what to name the file. Okay. Um, I use a subfolder for the checkpoints, so you might not see that everywhere. It's not required. Um, you can just pick it from wherever you have it in the workflow. All right. So with the two models downloaded, you would then drop the workflow into Comfy UI, update to the latest version if you need to. Um, it might require some custom nodes you don't have. So just go ahead and install those. So let's go full screen. Obviously the, uh, prompt is positive and negative. All I've done is rainforest noise on night bird sounds, which came from another example workflow distortion as well. Seems to be a good negative prompt in the workflow. You'll find links to the, uh, civet AI page. And also to the video that will be actually correct when you get it, uh, unless you're really fast. Uh, it also has the same instructions. So we've got toggles. So that basically means I have an uh, A side and I have a B side. Okay. You can run one or both of them at the same time. You can run them all at the same time. Really. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. What I've done is I've effectively, uh, given you text to image and image to image down the bottom. So this bit stays on always, and then you can just toggle which bits you want. So if we just take a look at the A side and see what that list looks like. So rain, forest, noise on night, bird sounds. Now this one is using Euler 22.8 CFG, and that sounds a little bit something like this. It's quite calm and peaceful, um, but it didn't seem for me, this didn't seem, maybe this is like, depends on what you're making, I guess. Right. But this is why I've given you an A side and a B side. You can generate both and then have two different setups and see what they sound like. So if I just activate my B side, I've already generated this. So let's just give this one a listen now. And I hope you can hear that that is a hell of a lot better. Now, obviously I didn't have to guess it's literally written right here. So I just took the settings, which are here. I couldn't do the sigmas, which means it's possible to make a even more custom version, which includes this logic, but I don't want to make things too complicated for a base workflow. So for this, it works great. So I'm happy with that 100 steps. It's really fast as well. Um, obviously you've got a, you didn't really need the preview. I didn't know when I built the workflow that I, there was a preview in the save. So we don't really need the previews. Um, so they'll probably be gone in the version you get song to song is essentially the same thing. You just get to load your audio in. Okay. And then 
you know, obviously it's going to do like an image guided, song guided, you know, so it'll sound a bit like what you put into it, which is very cool. So you can do it all local now. Obviously, it doesn't have the finesse that things like Sudo and Udio have, but I'm sure that someone will put together a crazy workflow and, um, you know, that, that'll be, you know, that'll be what you want there. So just to give you an idea of what I mean by that, these are base workflows, which people build upon, because obviously this is just a sort of principal functionality. If I was to give you a r rough a peek, recently I released some workflows, Mimic Motion and Live Portrait. Mimic Motion was animating a picture to follow a video. So a driver of a person dancing, put any image in and it'll make the person dance like the, in the image, the image dances like the person. And then live portrait, um, actually made the, uh, video of somebody speaking drive the head of a generated character. So you could have it lip sync and move its head around and stuff. And you could act out the expressions and stuff with like a webcam or a phone or whatever. And somebody has already joined them. So I'll just give you a quick peek of what the monstrosity that actually is. Now I'll be doing some, uh, I'll be looking at some of the workflows like this, but they take so long to break down that what I think I'm going to do is a link to their, uh, link to their channel and just be like, Hey, look at this. Cause it's so crazy. This is, this is what I'd sort of call a top end workflow. Um, cause there's so many sections going on here. And it's essentially all in one. And what it'll do is it'll actually make, um, it'll make the video that's dancing also be talking. So then, you know, it's full, it's full. It's, it's live portrait with mimic motion. They are put together. I, I did run, I think I ran the demo. Oh wait, no, it's not. Sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. Hang on a minute. This is actually a different one. This is relight. So I did, uh a new workflow pack called Nova, which that uses relight to animate. And this is relight video. So this is relighting with video. What I meant to show you was this one, which doesn't look quite as, um, over the top, but I have the results here. So as you can see, I've decided to use a T pose guy with the, with the dancing girl from last time with the head from the Hedra video. And, you know, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically include it in the pack because, and then give, give links and credit to the author, because essentially it's the same thing. If you've got all of the kit installed, you can run this and it is essentially making this speech. So this guy animated with this dance, but his head animated with this and yeah, it's not perfect, but I haven't really played around with it. And it's running on 1.5, but again, it is still pretty crazy. There you go. Full credit. There it is. All right. So anyway, back to what we're looking at today, which is Lyra. So Lyra is an audio walk workflow. Um, I'm not going to demo the song to song cause I want to come back to that. And also you get flagged for copyright. If I tried to play something which is recognizable, you just instantly get flagged. So. Um, I could use one of my tracks. And so what I'm going to do is I'll come back to that in a, in a part two, because I'm sure we're going to refine this workflow and update it because it is an initial release. But, uh, if you want to make those little, I thought in one of the videos we did, we used a little sample of just like noise from a room just to make the scene seem a bit more lively. Um, I think somebody said once 70% of the user viewing experience is sound design. So, you know, we spend a lot of time on imaging. Maybe it's a good idea to pay attention to the audio. So this will give us some great soundtracks and sort of, uh, atmospheric, uh, loops and whatnot to put behind our generations. So here it is. This is the first release of Lyra. That's all I've got for you. Cause this is a pretty, pretty, pretty quick one today, but, uh, I hope you have a lot of fun making fart noises and whatever it is you want to make. <laughs> and, uh, I'll see you in the next one.